So I've been asked a few times how to start smashbooking, uh, to give a few tips on how I started smashbooking and how I gather together the stuff to smashbook. Um, so I thought I'd put together this video, basically kind of going through where to buy them, how to collect the stuff, you know, start to finish on starting smashbooking. So first of all, where to buy them and which one to choose. Now, I have a few. My first smashbook, which was the orange binder, I got it from Amazon. Can't quite remember how much it was, but I'm pretty sure, um, obviously Amazon prices go up and down, but I'm pretty sure I paid around £16 for mine. After that, I then got all of these ones from eBay for around... 11 to 13 pounds each so a little bit cheaper um, and those were from an auction on eBay and I do know that Hobbycraft and The Range sell them if you're in the UK it's always worth looking there because they do sometimes have them on offer so these are all like the normal sized ones and then you get these ones which are the Smashbook Minis and they obviously don't they don't have the material going down the side but the spiral is different colours depending on the different themes. So each of these represents a different theme, different themed pages on the inside. So yeah, if you're thinking of choosing a smash book, for one, you can find a lot of YouTube videos uh, flicking through the pages, or if you want a surprise, you can just kind of go by the name or the style of it. The next thing that most people ask me is how to collect um, bits and pieces to put in it. I have this box. I keep random stuff <laughs> in it. A backing card for some stamps that I got from a Dear Lizzie set. I then got these little things which came with um, some stamp stickers. There's a receipt from when I went to London and visited Harrods. Labels from shoes. Uh, that's a takeaway menu. String because yeah. Some train tickets. Again labels from clothing packaging from, so these were from some washi tape, uh, wrapping paper that someone wrapped a present for me in, some stamps, I'll go through some of these other things in a minute, that is the Oh Snapper Day September photo challenge that I had in my Filofax, it's basically like little memories and also <laughs> pretty packaging and things that I could make and collage together. When I go about smashbooking, I mean this is just me, you're welcome to smashbook however you want but obviously I've been asked how I go about it and this is this is how I go about it right basically. So this page was only things that I had picked up when I went to London with my boyfriend and my friend who was visiting from Canada. Sometimes I will theme my pages and you know date it and stuff um, whereas other times like this all of these things don't necessarily mean anything to me um, but they just looked good together and they worked together on a page and that is what I went for. Again this one is themed so this was all Christmas things that I got last year and this is all random things none of the things relate to each other but they work well together so yeah it, I mean it's completely up to you. Um, in comparison to those pages I just showed you, this is one of my first smashbooking pages. Obviously it's very different, I pretty much stuck anything and everything down. That is completely okay as well. I think it's definitely all about experimenting and working out how you like your pages to look. Eventually you will get the knack of everything. I've obviously developed from doing it like this to doing it more like this. Find a box, a space, a folder, a drawer, basically just somewhere to collect a load of stuff together. I personally find it easier having a variety of stuff to choose from rather than, you know, coming back from town and going, okay, I've got these five things, you know, and then having to go, okay, now I need to somehow make a page out of them. I would prefer to put them in here, <laughs> wait until I've collected some other things um, and see if they fit well with other stuff. Another thing to do is to collect like other elements to add to the pages. So for example, I use these quite a lot recently and that's why I've got quite a few of them because they've been on offer. They're just die cuts which are different patterns, different shapes. They're just a great addition to the page really and they're easy as well. And then I've got these which I got actually sent to me in a rack um, and I've been using the top ones most but they're great for captioning 
photos and pages. Tags, tags always come in handy <laughs> for writing on, for decorating, for, I don't know, hanging from the top of a page and putting a little photo in. Any kind of stickers and <laughs> going from that, these stickers, I haven't actually used any of these yet, um, but this is from Hema, or Hema. I never know how to say it, how do you say it? I've been calling it Hema, so we'll just, we'll just go with that. But it has like, these are like for photo corners, um, and then it has little bunting, hearts, like speech bubbles and birds and stuff, stars, and tags. For smash booking, this is a really good pack because it's kind of got the photo element, the just general decorating and also like the captioning and stuff with the tags. When it comes to journaling in my Smashbook, because I'm not a like massive writer, like I would prefer to express myself through colours and shapes than I would through writing. Obviously that's just me, but I know a lot of people want to start smashbooking because they like the journaling side of it. For that, I would recommend things like this. For example, I've got this little this little caption here which was a sticker and that's probably as far as I go journaling wise in here, which is basically just the date and a little brief of what that day was about. Um, but obviously if you want to write something a bit longer, you can get these little things and stick them in. You can do things like this, how I've attached this postcard, which is basically punch two holes and put a string through the two holes and then down the spiral and tied it. If you are one of those people who likes to just write straight on the page, then by all means do that. But yeah, that's just personal preference for me. I prefer not writing in here. And lastly is washi tape. I'm pretty sure all of you by now know that I'm addicted to washi tape. It is my go-to for everything. I absolutely love it. It just joins pages up so well. The cheapest place I have found it is probably eBay. So yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you have to collect like a ton, but having a few in different colours will definitely help. Yeah.